Good afternoon and happy Saturday, everyone. I uh, figured I would touch base with you again through a video format uh, to give you some more information, some updates on some certain things. Um, as a follow-up to last week, um, you guys had some questions, and I wanted to make sure to respond to some of the major ones there. Uh, before I get started, though, I just want to tell you how much we miss uh, having you guys around. Um, I got an education because I love the interaction and the impact that I got had with students, and I know all of my teachers feel the same way. So uh, we do miss you. We do hope everyone is doing well, uh, and we're hopeful to return as soon as we can. Um, and for seniors, uh, I really sympathize with what you guys are going through. I know a lot of you were um, would have normally been packing your bags and getting ready for spring break, and a lot of those trips have been canceled. Um, so we, we feel for you, um, but it, it is what it is. Uh, so let me start with a couple of the uh, questions or major questions that I got. Uh, first one was, what is going to happen for the rest of the year? Uh, the second one was, do we still have to do the work? Um, so in terms of what is going to happen for the rest of the year, I'm operating under the assumption that we're going to be back on April 14th. If we're coming back on April 14th, um, outside of the SAT and the MME test being um, canceled, uh, we're just going to pick up where we left off and do as best we can um, with a three-week three, three week or four-week um, hiatus or um, gap that we had, um, and we'll move ourselves forward. If we're not back on April 14th, then that direction um, is going to come from the state legislature and the Michigan Department of Education, um, and they will give us, I'm assuming, they will give us some details and some, some specifics uh, in regards to if we're not coming back for the remainder of the year. But I don't know that that's to be the case yet. Um, but again, uh, things are changing here um, almost every 48 or 72 hours, like I, I said last week. So my assumption is we're coming back on April 14th. When we do, uh, we're just going to pick up where we left off as best we can. Uh, the one major difference would be we wouldn't be testing uh, when we come back. Those tests have been canceled. Uh, so what about SAT? Um, for those students that need to take it, both for college applications and those of you that are seniors, I don't know yet. College Board hasn't released uh, a specific um, timeline in terms of alternate dates. Uh, so we're just hanging tight uh, and trying to wait, wait on them uh, to give us some direction. And let me add a little bit too here um, in terms of hanging tight and not, not trying to get uh, too overwhelmed because if you listen to everything that's going on, you can put your mind in a state where you're trying to solve things that or are uh, maybe unsolvable. Uh, what I would tell you is just try to go from day to day. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, for seniors, I know this is a lot and you're thinking about prom, you're thinking about commencement. Um, guys, just... Take a deep breath. Let's get through. Let's get through today and tomorrow. Um, we will have some direction. And please know that I'm your biggest fan. Um, your teachers are your biggest fans. We want to make sure that you guys um, are given every opportunity that that can possibly be, um, and that this situation doesn't hurt you uh, in the long run. Uh, seniors, I want to talk to you specifically. We were able to move prom to June seventh. Uh, so mark your calendars. Call your hairdressers. Um, I'm calling my the person that does my nails and making sure that they have June 7th open. I'm kidding. Um, but uh, anyways, we have moved prom to, to June 7th, and that's at the Dearborn Inn. Uh, so they, they were able to work with us, so we're happy about that. Uh, the last question um, that I'm still getting uh, almost daily is, uh, does the work that we're doing count? Um, so let me, let me preface this, or let me try to clarify there. Anything that you do will not improve or impact your grade, your final cumulative grade for this semester in a positive or negative way, okay? So anything that that is given to you will not impact your overall grade for second semester. Does, does what you're doing count? I would say absolutely it counts. Um, it counts because it's an opportunity to continue learning. It counts because your teacher is putting time and effort into creating something for you because they think it's going to benefit you. It counts because ultimately it's the right thing to do. Um, you don't always get an extrinsic reward. Um, you don't always get paid to do uh, something at home. You don't always get a, bur a gift um, when your parent asks you to clean off the table. Uh, you don't always um, get an ice cream sandwich or get a paycheck um, at work when you're asked to do certain things. So what I, what I'm trying to say is 
it doesn't impact you. It will not impact your overall grade positively or negatively. But does it count? It absolutely counts. Um, and it counts because it's an opportunity for you guys to continue to grow, continue to learn, and ultimately to show what type of character and what type of person you are. Uh, so I would I would strongly encourage you to take your uh, teachers, um, the opportunities your teachers have created, take them up on those um, and continue your learning, continue to uh, communicate back and forth with them. Uh, parents, in the email this week, and students, in the email this week, um, in addition to this video, I've included two documents. The first one is the question and answers from last week that you guys submitted. Uh, so feel free to look at those. The second one is a uh, Dearborn High uh, online teacher uh, information spreadsheet. Uh, this has links to a lot of different things for our teachers, both their blog, uh, email addresses, and then the class links to their Google Classroom or iLearn along with their codes. Feel free to use that uh, at your at your leisure to your discretion, but wanted to at least put it all in one place. Uh, as I'm not going to go through each question, there were uh, 12 of them that uh, were uh, commonly asked over last week. Feel free to read through there, but I did want to talk about the, the two or three major ones, about what happens for the rest of the year, what's the plan, um, should we be doing work, and then certainly for seniors, wanted to remind you or let you know that prom had been moved to uh, June 7th. Uh, that's it for me this week. Hopefully everything is well with everybody. Uh, stay safe, stay dry on this uh, soggy Saturday, uh, and I will talk to you hopefully uh, this time next week. Thank you so much.